Hey YouTube! Today I thought I'd do something a little bit differently. I wanted to tackle a topic in art journaling which is backgrounds. And um, if you do art journaling then this may have happened to you occasionally or somewhere down the line where you make a background and then you're stuck. You don't know what to do with it, you don't know what to add to it, and you just leave it alone and forget about it. So for today's video I'm going to tackle that topic and I'm also going to show you a fun technique or little trick um, using silk acrylic glazes. So I'm going to be focusing on those items only. I have this background that I made a really long time ago and I never finished this side. So I'm going to focus on this background. Um, as you can see, I did a lot. I did misting, I did ghosting, I did a lot of different fun techniques on this. It's very busy and it's ready to go. I just never knew what to put on it or was inspired to um, work on it. Um, but today I'm going to show you a fun way to bring life back to a page by introducing something completely new. Silk's acrylic glazes are essentially paints that create a semi-gloss glaze and they really have this amazing shimmer and like glimmer to them so that is why I really enjoy using them. These are the colors I own at the moment. Um, the cool thing about these silks is that they're kind of transparent. So when you put them on patterned paper, the background is still noticeable. You can still see the pattern in the back. And um, you can easily blend the colors while they're wet. And the cool thing also is that once they're dry, you can also add another color on top and it's not going to bleed or like create a brown color. And now I'm just going to start by explaining that I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I was really inspired by just playing around with the acrylic glazes. So I have a couple of pattern papers that I've picked out here. I have some book paper and I have some scraps of pattern paper from, I think these are Maggie Holmes and just some random ones I have at home. So what I'm going to do is just start with creating fun little circles on this paper and then also layering the colors. So um, let me start with purple, my go-to color. So I'm just going to start making fun little round shapes. I'm going to turn these into flowers. So let me just... This is really simple. All you have to do is create little circles or other patterns that you'd like. I'm leaving the, the inside um, open so that I can add more colors to it. Uh, let me try to get a different... Let me add orange to this one. I'm going to make a bigger orange one. And the cool thing about this is that you can just have fun with it and just create different shapes and patterns and then always come back to it. If you need an embellishment for something, you can always come back and um, take the shapes that you created and use them like that. I hope you guys can pick up the shimmer on these acrylic glazes. It's a subtle but shimmery effect and it's so gorgeous. Like you can see it on the green. Hope you can pick that up. Look at the shimmer. It's so beautiful. So I really like these glazes. Very shimmery. Now let me go back to this purple one and add some green in the center. So you can see that even though there's a great amount of color and coverage, you can still see the patterned paper underneath the silks. And you can also pick up that shimmer that is just so great. So these acrylic glazes are really fun to use and you can do so much with them. But this technique can easily be done with other paints. Um, you can definitely do this with distress paints. Once you have all your circles ready and painted and dried, you can add a lot more um, texture and dimension to them with paint or markers, you can doodle. So now I'm going to probably uh, speed up this part of the video just so you can see me working on decorating the inside of the flowers and adding some doodles.
did some doodling and I think I'm done. Um, I'm just going to show you really quickly what I did. Nothing perfect. I mean, I just made lines and circles and dots and just went with the flow of what I like to, to just make at the time. And once you're happy with um, the patterns you've made, or you can even keep them completely simple, like I didn't do anything to these ones over here. Once you've made your doodles and everything, and once your flowers are made, the next step is to cut them up. You now have these cute shimmery embellishment circles that you can do pretty much anything with. So I'm going to be using these on this page, and I'm just going to see what I like. You can also definitely... Um, layer some on top of each other or whatnot. very fun original page with embellishments that you created yourself and using silks acrylic glazes. I think this page should not really cute. Um, I'm gonna stop it for now. I'll probably write a quote somewhere. Um, I think I'm gonna probably continue with the text um, sort of feel that there's here. There's a lot of words and stuff. I think I'm gonna continue with that. But for now, um, I'm gonna leave it like this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. And I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you have silks, I'd love to see what you make with them. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.